I'm on the street, whether I'm painting a landscape or a mural, I'm pretty much laying it all out there for the community. Because I've been Whittier's landscape painter for, for more than or 30 years now. And people will come when I'm just beginning a painting and they'll say it doesn't look like that or what are you painting or what's going on. And, but yet, as, if they stick around long enough, they see it develop very quickly. This mural is a continuation of a project that I began 10 years ago. And at the time, my principal asked me to paint a patriotic mural on this wall. She said it had to be a patriotic theme. And I was thinking, that's not where I wanted to go with my public art. I created this scene. And in the, in the wall, we go from the microcosm to the macrocosm. We start with uh, atoms and uh, the tiniest things that you see in the microscope. All, and it goes, progresses through the American flag, which morphs into uh, a galaxy in the outer space. That was my scene, and I was thinking if I was going to be patriotic, I wanted to take the American flag and make it into something more than just the uh, Star Spangled Banner. I was thinking more in terms of Jimi Hendrix and the way he just transfixed the Woodstock uh, audience with his rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. That's where I got the inspiration to take the American flag and flow through the entire composition and break up and become something beyond just the uh, simple stars and stripes. out of gumdrops and spaghetti and we draw out on the streets and we have boat races with fans and, and then since uh, education has become a little more structured and regimented I don't do a lot of these things anymore. I like to draw butterflies and hearts. I've learned with watercolors that if you mess up you have to put a paper towel over it fast. Um, and the watercolors comes off and not to overpaint while you're um, doing the watercolors. Yeah, I love art because you get to do like whatever you want, like instead of doing you know, like figures, stick figures, you know how to make the real thing. I would draw uh, my family. Why? Because my family is really important to me. <laughs> the mural and then not long after that we had 9-11 which really gave the mural a brand new meaning and a new uh, significance and over the years the mural has been protected by the community and the uh, like a working class community across the street and I've driven by it many times and seen where it's been tagged and, and then the next day someone will come up and paint it out maybe they won't match the color correctly, but it's like the community wants this mural and protects this mural and, and it's part of what they look at. So I, I, I've been driving by lately and looking at the way that rust is dripping from the fence and, and all the mismatched uh, reparations of the tagging and I decided it was time to uh, really give it a new top coat. So I've been, been going on Facebook and uh, going on line and just asking all of my artist friends to come and help me. And, and I've got a really great crew here in this film, 
and they're just coming out of the goodness of their hearts and just the spirit of, uh, of helping the community. A lot of people ask me, since I have a master's degree in fine art and uh, I'm a teacher, why don't I just teach purely art? And I think I just kind of came into the, with my situation as a fifth grade teacher. I moved into that uh, after going to Whittier College. I started just integrating art across the curriculum into math, into social studies, into science, and especially into language arts. And I found that that is such a tremendous hook to get students to respond to whatever my goals or, or objectives are in the lesson, to bring in the art. It seems to uh, just get kids to want to come to school. I've been working on this mural at Fairgrove, and it's, it's a backdrop for a play or a musical, and this is this is my working scale model of it. Although the the actual painting is much more vigorous, but it's supposed to be Broadway lights. But I'm also thinking of the, of a Buddhist parable called the Phantom City, and in the Phantom City, uh, this group is traveling through time and space for eons, and they're they're becoming very tired and weary. The caravan leader stops and says, okay, we're going to rest. We're going to the treasure land, but we're going to stop in, in this fabulous city. And with a wave of his hand, he creates this amazing place. And everybody goes in and they're just totally refreshed and relaxed. They get to the point where they're ready to move on. He's, he says, okay, this wasn't our destination. This was just a, a stop along the way. And with a wave of his hand, the whole city disappears. And he says, we're going to the real treasure land now. Actually, the Phantom City and the treasure land are one because it was a true, real experience for them, but yet it refreshed them to the point where they could continue on to the, to the, the real destination, which was enlightenment. Is it? Oh, it's um, when you, it's a rainbow ice cream. Whenever you lick it, you get any wish you ever dreamed of. Like my wish is, be a marine biologist because I love the ocean and I want to discover new things in it. I taught art for eight years to all the grade levels and then for the last 17 years I've taught nothing but fifth grade. But here at Longfellow I get to do both. I get to teach, uh, teach fifth grade up until lunch and then after lunch I te teach uh, a rotation class, which is might be literature or uh, reading, and then the final hour I teach art. I do something akin to the writing process, but I it, I call it the drawing process, and that's where we start with uh, thumbnails and and doodles and uh, what I would call uh, uh, well just abstract drawings, and then we we push them toward a finished uh, product where they've. Then they go into painting and uh, even sculpture. So we just, uh, we do a lot of art. I integrate it across the curriculum. I have, uh, I, I mix art, in other words, with every subject. Math, social studies, science, writing, and uh, even PE. Everything I know, I, I bring it and I can teach it as a discrete subject. And then before lunch, I'm teaching my own class and integrating art into uh, their curriculum. And I find that it's the test scores that everybody's so concerned about are naturally rising as a result because kids are actually buying into what they're doing. This land is your land. This land is mine.